They have never ever debated the facts with me. They've never, they don't do stories about the facts. They only smear me. They tell you that I'm crazy or whatever. On Law and Order last night, Law and Order SVU, the Hollywood left presented a psychotic murderer as a radio talk show obsessed fan who kills because he wants what he wants, what he hears on the air. Here is the scene with the killer's attorney from last night. Garrison, Limbaugh, Beck, O'Reilly, all of them, they are like a cancer spread in ignorance and hate. Ignorance and hate. Limbaugh, Beck, and O'Reilly, a cancer spreading ignorance and hate. Now, I didn't see the episode, but apparently the killer gets off only to promise he'll kill again. Because of me, Bill, and Rush? Where is the evidence for inciting any violence? Show it to me. Hundreds of thousands of people showed up at tea parties and town hall meetings this year. There wasn't a single incident of violence, not one. There was passion, the occasional raised voice, but violence? No, no, as near as I can tell, no, there's no violence there. 700,000 people. I mean, you could go from 70 to 7 million people. We don't know because, well, the media, I think, reported that as about 40 people. They they attended that 9-12 rally on the uh, mall in D.C. And there wasn't just no violence. There wasn't even a single arrest. Compare that to this, the G20 riots. Ah, these people don't even, no, uh-uh. And then, of course, we could go to the beatdown. Do we have this? Oh, I love this. This is the beatdown of the Tea Party participant by the SEIU. There, that's a town hall meeting, but the right didn't do it. The left did. Uh, and where's the other one? Do you have the California man? Yeah. Okay, that's just the blood. Because somebody on the left bit this guy's finger off during a health care reform uh, debate. Yeah, yeah. How about... How about the uh, violence and vandalism of the left-wing environmentalists like ELF, the Earth Liberation Front? Yeah, this is when they were just setting, you know, dealerships on fire, burning millions of dollars worth of SUVs. Then uh, a group proclaiming, um, uh, we want health care now, broke windows at a Colorado, a Colorado DNC office. Originally, the right was blamed for this one. Then the truth came out. It was an impatient leftist group. And then this one, I love this one, this one is great. Yeah, you know this guy? This is a Tennessee census worker. He was found dead with the word fed written on his chest. Turns out this guy hung himself. Yeah. Now, the reason why I bring this one up is because there were a ton of articles, people, I mean, actual, like, journalists, saying, I'm gonna get mine because I caused his death. People hung him because they watched me. This was my fault, his murder. Wasn't a murder. Again, he hung himself. But none of them have really reported in saying, hey, gee, sorry, Glenn, boy, maybe we shouldn't have said that. No, no. I'm the irresponsible one. And I remind you, I'm not a journalist. I'm just a dad. Janine Garofalo smugly smeared millions of people on the other networks because she disagreed with their viewpoints. Listen to this. This is about hating a black man in the White House. This is racism straight up. That is nothing but a bunch of tea-bagging rednecks. Bless her heart. I was pleasantly surprised with the way it turned out generally. But Barbara Walters even played into this nonsense during her interview with me last night on her annual Fascinating People show. Here it is. Glenn Beck is, is somebody who incites people to violence. Oh, I've heard a lot. He of is inflammatory. Mm -hmm. He makes us scared. Yeah. Glenn Beck, people say Glenn Beck is a guy who incites people to violence. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that, but what's the evidence? She also mentioned that I called Barack Obama a fascist. I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think so. I do, I do realize that Media Matters and MoveOn.org now just got an extra grant from Soros, and they're moving into hyperscramble to find, you know, an example. But I don't even know if I ever called him a fascist. I, I know I've said fascistic tendencies. Sure, the administration is going this direction. But a guy on another cable channel was so unbelievably desperate for ratings that I can't show you the evidence of him calling George Bush a fascist. But let me just say this. Mr. Bush, you're a fascist. Get a t-shirt with it. Yeah, that's what he said. But me, I'm just a dad who is concerned about the direction of this country. Stand up, America.
Gordon Liddy here.